Hey, Curtis, do you mind if I get super muddy and drive your Jeep? No. Can Oscar sit in the passenger seat? Oscar? No. What if I use a seat cover? This is the Scoover seat cover. I think that's how you pronounce it. It's made by mountain bikers, and this is the one vehicle it doesn't fit in. So this seat cover stays attached to your headrest, ready to go when you're done with your ride and you're all covered in mud. You just flip it over and then open it up and it just covers your seat. There's this grippy stuff on the other side so it stays in place, it doesn't slide around. And yes, the stuff just kind of flaps around but once you're sitting on it, it stays in place and it protects your car from all the mud that you brought in from the forest. So the good. First of all, it appears to work. It's made of really high quality materials and it's well designed. It has this little pocket for the seat belt to go through. I tried to figure out what they cost. I, they're not available until August 16th and the price is nowhere. I would imagine they're pricey. They're really complicated for what they are. So you do that, you do that, uh, you do that again. I guess you just roll it up there. That's actually not too bad. The ones I already own are easier. But with that said, if you have a compact car and you don't have a place to store seat covers, this is always ready to go right on your headrest. You could leave one on each headrest for weeks and weeks, and then the day you need it, you just flip it down. You don't have to remember to bring them. They're not buried in the back of your trunk. Scoovers, they're well designed. They're made by mountain bikers who watch this channel. They seem to work. I'm gonna leave him in my wife's car for when Oscar wants to sit shotgun. Somewhat recently, I reviewed Mendit kits. It's a really capable first aid kit for mountain bikers. It has a lot of features other first aid kits don't. They just made a mini version of it. Costs 20 bucks and it fits under your water bottle cage. Let's check it out. So it sits on the outside of your bike next to your water bottle cage so you don't have to pull it out of a bag or anything. You can get to it quickly. It's extremely light. Let's see what it weighs. 22 grams, nice. Let's see what's inside. This is a bag with everything in it. Okay, 3M Stera strips, two nice size band-aids, alcohol prep pad, pain reliever, acetaminophen, antibacterial ointment, neosporin, and little clothespins so you can make a makeshift sling out of a shirt or whatever but there's something else in here. Now, when I opened this up, there were these two little Velcro straps. They honestly seem kind of excessive, but that's because they're designed to be a splint. So the piece that mounts the Mendicate, this flexible piece of 3D printed material, it's made to break off of its mount. Then you have a finger splint, which you can then affix with these Velcro straps. That's pretty ingenious. There's almost no part of this first aid kit that is wasted. Just like the original large size Mendit kits, this is absolutely excellent. I think it's a small enough kit where I'm actually gonna bring one with me. I'd be dumb not to bring this with me, especially since I ride with my daughter a lot. And at 20 bucks, I think it's a pretty fair package. For me, that would be the only criticism I would have with this. I had to mess with it pretty hard, but I could see that if my shoe or leg brushed up against it hard enough, this thing would be laying out on the trail. So this next product we can actually use to install the Mendit kit on my dad bike. It's called the Nub Hex. Now, thumb drivers have been around for a long time, but this is sort of a response to one that I made. I 3D printed these little hex drivers for installing water bottle cages because it's hard to get any other type of wrench in there. The cage is in the way, the frame is in the way. And so a subscriber made these much better ones with a lot more leverage. The ones I made are not really big enough to get the bolt all the way tight. You have to use another wrench to kind of tighten it down all the way. These have a lot more leverage. There's a better design and it has all the bits built in. So you can pop the bit out here and you can pop other bits out of the side and do any size water bottle cage you want. Honestly, for $7, this is pretty good. So it doesn't look like they sell the multicolored ones, but I would love to see these three as a set because in a workshop, it's good to just have everything out. But if you want one that's perfect for water bottle cages, here you go. So next, Crank Brothers has a couple of new products. If you've been watching the channel for a long time, you know I'm a Crank Brothers fanboy, and so here is my very biased review. 
First, the new F16 multi-tool. I have loved the F15 for years. That's been my favorite multi-tool, my go-to. And this adds the addition of a tubeless repair kit right on it in a very nice little package. The tool comes in a case, everything's all enclosed, and then the multi-tool slides out. It's got all the tools you would expect, and it has a chain tool on the top, which also comes out with a magnet and gives you some spoke wrenches. Now the case doubles as a bottle opener, but also if you extend one of these wrenches and then put the tool back into the case, you now have some extra leverage, which is why this is one of my favorite tools. You can crack loose a pedal or something that's really tight by using the case for extra leverage. But of course the new thing they added is the tubeless repair kit. And you can see this little piece pops off very slim, and then you have a plug applicator, and it looks like three plugs inside. The quick links actually hold in the plugs. So you put the plugs down, and then you push the quick links down here, and it keeps them from falling out. That is actually pretty sweet. So I like everything about it, but for $59.99, that's kind of steep, even in 2023. And so you'd have to really, really, really like this to spend 60 bucks on it. Next is the Click HV Mini Floor Pump. It's a compact pump that's actually a floor pump. We have seen other products like this. Now you can see there's the end right here. It looks like it's a pump, but actually, this comes out, and then the part that makes it the click clicks into place magnetically, and then you have your head right over here. Then this flips out, and you can put your foot on it. Handle flips over, so you have your foot here, and you're pumping pretty sweet. So the good, well, first of all, packs up really nice, really nice design, and not that heavy either. You could put this in a backpack and have a really capable pump with you. It's got a sweet head. I hate the ones that you screw on. It's just a lot of extra work. This one works just like a floor pump you would have in your shop or you would have in the trunk of your car. The handle is also really good. I have another pump just like this. I think it's made by Pro Bike Tool, but you have to screw the end onto the press the valve. The handle is really small and not ideal, but otherwise that thing is pretty good and this costs twice as much. Given its weight, the design, how compact it is, this is pretty good even for 60 bucks, but if you want a compact floor pump, there are other options out there for less money. I'm definitely leaving this in my car though. This thing is sweet. If you've been watching this channel for a while, you know I'm a big fan of the fork cork. Goes up into the bottom of your sear tube and plugs it up. Keeps dirt and mud from getting in there and you could stash some money or whatever. I even made a 3D printed add-on to hold an inflator and a CO2 inside my sear tube. Well, the maker of the fork cork, Miles Wide, was paying attention. He made a tubeless patch kit that fits on the fork cork. It's an add-on kit. Gives you a longer bolt over here and a little tubeless patch kit that can screw on. I absolutely love this and I'm gonna tell you why. First of all, big fat tire plugs and a ton of them. You have enough plugs here, you could be selling them to other people on the trails. You could be a plug dealer. And this is the best handle ever. This is a big handle that you could use to just jam that plug in there. Your actual fork cork is the handle. And of all the tubeless repair kits you can install in your bike, this is the easiest to install. You don't have to do any prep work. You can just go up to any bike, stick this up in there, tighten it down, and it's ready to go. You're ready to plug a tire at any given moment. You just reach up under your steer tube, unscrew it, pull it out, bam! This is awesome. Now, I don't know what this plug kit costs yet. It'll probably be available by the time this video airs. I hope it's not that much because the fork cork is 30 bucks and so you're adding this to whatever the fork cork costs. This is just about the best tubeless repair kit I have ever seen that you can bring with you on your mountain bike. I love shooting these product review videos because the first time I see these is pretty much on camera 
And I get to see new cool products. A lot of the time they come from people in the audience, so thank you for sending them. If you have a cool product you wanna send in, go to my website and fill out the product review form. I think the standout product for me today is the Mend It Kit Kicker, this mini Mend It Kit. This might be the first first aid kit that I would actually carry with me. I know it's not very responsible that it has to be this compact and light for me to carry it with me, but somebody did it. Pretty impressive. I hope you enjoyed checking out some products with me today. I hope you learned something, and if you didn't, I hope you at least found this entertaining. Thanks for riding with me today, and I'll see you next time. Oscar, what happened, buddy? What happened? Buddy, hey, buddy! What are you doing? What are you doing? What, what happened, Oscar? What?